And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Epidexeteryx, which was a request from Damien via Facebook, so thanks. It was a Paravian dinosaur that lived in the Jurassic in what is now China, and its full name is Epidexeteryx huai. And the name means Hu's display feather, and the Chinese name Hu Shi Yaolong means Hu Yaoming's dragon. It's interesting it has a Chinese name to go with it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So that name is in honor of Hu Yaoming, who was a paleomammalogist, which means they studied prehistoric mammals. It was found in the Daohu Gao beds in China, and it was described in 2008 by Zhang Fucheng and others. They found one specimen, which had four long feathers on the tail. And the specimen is now in the collection of the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology in Beijing, China. It was about 10 inches or 25 centimeters long and weighed 164 grams or 5.8 ounces. Oh, we're not usually in the gram realm of things. <laughs> Tiny thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the holotype is probably of a subadult, though, so it might have gotten a little bigger. Mm. It had teeth in the front of its jaws with long front teeth that angled forward, and it may have lived in trees and hunted insects. It's got the earliest known example of ornamental feathers, the tail feathers. And these tail feathers may have been similar to a peacock's used for display in attracting mates. It could have also helped it balance on branches. The tail feathers are long and filamentous-like structures, and they lack a central shaft that runs through the middle of the feather and has veins on either side, which is interesting because more primitive animals than Epidexeteryx have fully formed feathers. It had simple body feathers, which were unique because they had a membranous structure at the base of the feather, which may show a stage of feather evolution. And this is similar to modern birds with a pygostyle, which supports the feathers. The shorter feathers covering its body could have helped with insulation. It didn't have wing feathers, but based on E, a relative, it may have had a membrane wing for gliding, though it's not clear if it did. It had similarities to oviraptorosaurs and therizinosauroids. It's not a direct ancestor to modern birds, but it has a close phylogenetic relationship, which means that it helps show the transition from non-avian dinosaurs to birds. And it lived around a lot of lakes and trees. Other animals that lived around the same time and place included insects, salamanders, lizards, pterosaurs, and primitive mammals. And 